today I am bringing you a review video because because I finished a book yesterday and it was pretty damn amazing so I wanted to talk about it a bit I'm gonna try my best to make this spoiler free because I want this to be a kind of video where people come and watch this and they think I really need to pick that book up and that book is The Charioteer by Mary Renault not sure about the pronunciation of her surname, but it is a historical, well, it was written in the 1950s, so at the time it was a contemporary, but nowadays it's kind of more historical. It is based in World War II, and basically there's a guy, his name's Laurie, and he gets injured in action and is sent to this um, hospital, where he meets Andrew, who is a sweet little conscientious objector and there is a potential for a relationship there and then whilst he's recovering he meets someone from his past ralph who kind of throws a spanner in the works let's just say first thing to say is that if you're put off by the idea of the love triangle let me tell you don't be because it was one of the most perfectly executed love triangles in my opinion. Mary Renault, she just takes you perfectly to see both sides of the love triangle and it's really well written and just honestly her writing is beautiful. It has lots of metaphors, lots of really well thought out wording because obviously it's written in the 1950s so it's a bit different style to what we have nowadays but she makes it just seem so realistic it is just wonderful and yeah the love triangle was great because throughout the whole book i was like i can't decide who i want laurie to end up with i just can't decide it was so difficult it was just so so good so good um some like more interesting things to bring up that would be i think incentives to read is how the historical portrayal of like the queer society that was in the 1950s no 1940s because that's when the book set but um things like a societal expectation because i won't say who but a character mentions that he tried women for a couple of years and i think that's really it's a really powerful idea of that that even though they the people the men had accepted they were gay they still had to try and fit into the norm and that comes up a couple of times and I think it's a really interesting point and the other interesting point is the um, alluding nature to it because they're never, they can't be explicit with when they're talking out in the open about their relationships so it's all very hypothetical my good friend and I just thought it was so fascinating and so well done she just did such a good job of doing all of that it's just beautiful and obviously throughout the book you get different storylines but some the main one is obviously the love interest because that's the one we're here for but really interesting is the medical kind of storyline because obviously Laurie is injured he was injured in action so you kind of get snippets of his recovery as well and that kind of provides an insight into how different it was back then and just how different we have it now and like i said metaphors and it's called the charioteer but it's, that's actually a motif kind of thing that runs through the whole book and it's brought up a couple of times and it's really interesting and it makes lots of references to like bisexual and gay people throughout history one of my favorite ones is jonathan and david because obviously my name's Jonathan and I was like ah lol me being mentioned but basically it was just such a good book I would say that if you enjoyed The Song of Achilles or The Book Thief you might enjoy this one I think The Song of Achilles obviously I had a lot of problems with The Song of Achilles but this one was just so much better so much better so much better and obviously because it's written in the 1950s she obviously was very careful about how much content she put in and the portrayal of the relationships had to be very delicate and she just did it so well it was just such a fine touch like you own i think throughout the whole book there's only one proper kiss and i think that's just really said something about how society has changed and 
yeah, uh, if you like Song Kiddies or The Book Thief, because The Book Thief is just my go-to if you like historical fiction, so if you like something set in World War II, this is one for that, and if you want to see some gay relationships that are way cuter than Song of Achilles, this one, because it's just so well done. And there is so many more scenes throughout the whole thing that I would love to talk about, but I'm not going to because, like I said, I want to keep it spoiler free. So that is my spoiler free review, please read, of The Charioteer. There, I do have a full review, it's on my blog, mountfandom.tumblr.com, it's in the description, it should be. Yeah, so it's on there, it should be the one of the latest posts. And yeah, so that will be that for today. I do have a couple of other videos planned, so stay tuned for that. I will see you soon.